Alright guys, so now we are in my game and I'm going to be showing you exactly what the best video settings are for your in-game settings. Nothing's going to be happening outside of the game. I just want to specify what the best in-game video settings are in order to get you the most FPS and benefit you the most in your competitive gameplay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings, obviously. And then once you're in here, I want you guys to go to this video tab and just stay right here. So I'm going to be going over my settings, which I think are the most optimal for most players. I'm going to start with the setting right here. Window mode should always be full screen. It gives you the most FPS, gives you the least input delay, and it's the nicest looking. So that's why it should always be uh, full screen. And then resolution should obviously be 1920 by 1080 if you guys want to play on native. If you guys want to play on stretch, I respect that completely. Stretch is a good resolution if you guys are interested in that. However, what you can do is if you're struggling to get above 144 FPS, what you can do is turn it down to 1600 by 900, which doesn't actually look that much worse. And then you can easily play and, and you know, compete at a proper level and you're going to get a lot more FPS in return. So I'm going to keep mine at 1920 by 1080 for now, just because that's what I play on and that's what I like. And also I'm a content creator, so I kind of have to. And that's what I'm just going to keep it on for now. Now, moving on, you guys can see that this is my frame rate limit right here. In my frame rate limit, I'm going to be keeping this at the next highest setting above what my monitor refresh rate is. I have a 144 hertz monitor. So the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up all the way to 160, as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to leave it at 160 so that there's going to be a little bit more gap so that there's not going to be any screen tearing and there's not going to be any ghosting. Screen tearing is when your FPS is too low and then ghosting is when your FPS is too high. So basically I'm just going to keep this right here and this is good to go. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit right here and now I'm going to go into brightness. Brightness is one of the biggest things this season. Every single season they change the colors every single time and most of the time you need to adjust your brightness and adapt it you know in order to properly adjust to what the climate around you and the map around you is going to look like. So basically right here I'm going to be keeping my brightness at a small 87%. I would keep it at 85 or 100. However I think that 100 is too bright and I think that 85 is too you know is like a little bit too dark for me so I'm gonna keep it around 87 88 that's the ideal spot for it to be and um, yeah that's just the good spot if you guys want to have proper visibility settings with your average monitor settings right uh, you want to have like this is just my monitors completely normal settings and 87% brightness is perfect for me so after this we're going to be going on to the user interface contrast this doesn't matter at all this just changes the amount of you know lightness or like contrast that your HUD has which is just this blue little like menu right here that doesn't really matter colorblind mode doesn't really matter I'm gonna recommend that you guys don't play on any colorblind mode this season especially if you're trying to compete don't play on any single colorblind mode at all so I'm gonna skip this and now scrolling down uh, you guys can see that we're on this graphics quality, you know, uh, setting right here. So I'm going to actually skip this and I'm going to go on to what this is right here. Uh, my rendering mode is going to be performance mode alpha. I know that they did change performance mode so that the bubble wrap builds are gone. However, I would still recommend that you do play on it because performance mode is one of the most beneficial things in terms of F FPS. Um, so we have 3D resolution right here. Obviously, I'm going to keep this at 100 just because I am, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to have a good PC. However, if you guys don't have as good a PC, you should keep it at around 80, maybe 70 if it's that bad. Um, but in terms of view distance, I want to keep this at epic just because it's really good for competitive. You can see those long distance surge tags or long distance snipes. And then for textures, I'm going to keep this on low. I've heard that if you turn it to high, it'll give you better FPS. I don't think it uh, it will. I mean, some people have told me it will, but I don't think it has for me personally. Meshes, I'm also going to keep on high just because I don't really like the low meshes, which is these, you know, sort of disgusting mobile builds that nobody really likes. I don't really like those very much, so I'm going to keep this on high and just leave it there because that's what I like to, you know, play with. And then, obviously, for advanced graphics, V-Sync is going to be off. Never turn this on ever because it is really bad for your FPS. It turns your FPS down to where your monitor refresh rate is, and you can't get anything higher than that. Show FPS I'm going to keep on just because I want to like I like to see my FPS during game and that's just something that's really cool for me personally. Um, and then rendering mode, I'm obviously going to keep at performance mode alpha. That's, you know, kind of the point of what my rendering mode is going to be. Now, moving on to these settings right here, not all of these matter very much. So I'm just going to be going over the important ones. Matchmaking region, obviously keep this on your region. Never keep it on auto. Always keep it on your actual region and then your language, obviously. And then toggle sprint, I would recommend you turn off. Sprint by default on. Sprint cancels reloading off. Auto open doors on, I would recommend. And then Hold the swap pickup. This is a setting that not very many people use. Please use this setup. You just have to hold down your pickup button and it's going to swap out the weapon in the direct slot that it's in. So you don't need to store your inventory after you pick up a new weapon. And then toggle targeting off. Mark danger when targeting. This is preference. I don't really know much about this. Auto pickup weapons off. And then auto sort consumables to right. This basically means that it's going to sort your med kits to the right side of your inventory. And you won't really need to worry about sorting your inventory once more. Then reset building choice off. 
pre-edit option disabled on you want you guys definitely want to disable pre-edits it's an important thing and it's an it's a wave of the future and then turbo building i'm going to recommend that you guys keep this on obviously you're not going to be able to build without it um confirm edit on release i would recommend this is actually a bit of like a leeway so if you guys are used to confirm edit on release off and you're fast with it then keep it off no need to turn it on if you guys are used to if you guys are used to it being on please keep it on do not turn it off it's going to take a long time for you guys to get used to confirm edit on release off all of this extra stuff doesn't really matter at all except for replays recording replays i would recommend in-game replays you do record but not none of the other replays be this you know takes away your creative fps and then also large team replays so yeah recording replays is a really good thing to have on especially for trios and solos if you guys want to vod review something that's really good so now let's move on to the next tab this is just hud settings i'm not really going to go over any of the hud things but what i'm going to be going over is the hud scale i would recommend you keep your hud scale around 75 it's the perfect medium it's not too small like mongrel and it's not too big like clicks I'd recommend you guys keep it all the way down to around 75, which I think is the perfect medium for HUD scale. It's not going to really be taking up too much of your screen, but you'll be able to read it a lot better. And yeah, that's the reason I think you should keep it a bit lower and a bit more, you know, um, minimalistic on your screen. Moving on, we have my sensitivity. This doesn't really matter towards FPS, but some of you guys are always been curious about it. I play on 800 DPI, 5.6 X, 5.6 Y, and 32% targeting and scope sensitivity. Also, I have all of the other settings pretty much basic, nothing really too big on this regard. I do have a double movement software. I don't use it every time. I'm starting to get into using it a bit more, um, but that sometimes I'll toggle this one on or off depending on, you know, the situation. Now, these are going to be gamepad settings. These don't really matter because I don't really play controller, but if you guys are interested, I do play 36 XY. I play 1.7 build, uh, 1.4 edit, and then I play all of these other settings. My dead zones are 8. Or wait, no, sorry. These are my look speed, horizontal, and vertical, sorry. Um, and then I have my dead zones at 10 and then all of this other stuff I don't really know what this is very much, but yeah, those are my controller settings audio settings No big deal once again. These are obviously gonna be preference uh, as you guys can see now I'm gonna move down sound quality is gonna keep I'm gonna keep this on high I know some people like to keep it on low I'm not a fan of keeping it on low just because it doesn't really work for me that way um, I don't know like low just doesn't really sound as good. It doesn't sound as crisp so I'm gonna keep this on high 3d headphones off this is only for like people with like stereo like really like really bad headphones it makes their headphones sound like good headphones but if you have good headphones no need to turn this on absolutely no need at all um background audio I'm gonna keep off just because like if I ever get like a discord notification I don't want to have like the noise like make like a loud noise while I'm playing and then visualize sound effects I'm gonna keep this one off obviously this uh, if you turn this on it gets rid of um 3d audio and you don't want that in your headphones you want to have visualize sound effects off voice chat off uh but you can turn this on obviously if you want to push to talk depends right all this stuff is gonna vary and then license audio i have it on play but when i when i'm streaming and recording i like a like an actual gameplay thing i like to turn it off just so i don't get copyright strike or anything um but yeah going up once again we have my keybinds my keybinds aren't that important but i'll just go through them just because some some of you guys may want to see them a little bit so i'm going right here i have wasd and then spacebar for jump caps lock is going to be my auto run and then crouches control fire obviously these are going to be basic but then for use i have mouse wheel up and e so i have double pickup buttons so just in case i have to like 50 50 somebody i'm going to spam both of them and i'll try to pick it up on the on the right side of the chest um so yeah my harvesting tool is g and then weapon slot one tab and then i have three four five and then the my z key i don't know this is really weird but it works for me really well and yeah that's just what i'm going to be using pretty much i've been using that forever now wall is going to be my one of my first bottom thumb mouse button then floor is c stairs is going to be my top thumb mouse button and then my roof is going to be left shift my trap button is going to be t just in case i need to play something quickly and then i have all these other key binds that aren't really important like i have uh repair is going to be this weird like um i don't know necessarily like accent mark i don't know what it's called necessarily then we have a building edit which i have f as my building edit and then obviously scroll wheel reset set up right here and yeah nothing else really matters in terms of you know exactly how to optimize your keybinds that's really all people worry about and nothing else really matters in this regard and then we obviously have this contr combat controller thing and this is just like my controller keybinds these don't really matter i don't play controller i gotta be honest with you so i'm probably just gonna leave this alone for now and yeah none of this really matters so in instead of that and then this tab doesn't really matter at all but uh, other than that, those are my full video settings uh, for Fortnite in 2021 right now. These are the best video settings if you guys want to get the best FPS. You guys need to copy basically just this tab and then this, and then, uh, this th third tab. Don't really worry about the, any, any of the others. Those are just like 
shown for like those of you guys who want to see my settings just for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. If you guys are interested in checking out any of my socials, please consider checking them out in the description. And yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.